We made our corner braces, but they need mortises in the rails to receive them. But the mortises need to be longer than the tenons to allow the braces to slide into place during assembly. Is that going to cause visible slots that can be seen in the inside of the chair? And because the distance I have from the back of the tenon to the, to the uh, outside edge is about two inches, that's the longest I can really have my mortises and still have them hidden as I put the uh, braces in. So I'm going to use the C two inch template. I've got one started here. So if I line up my square with the center, then I can line up the groove in the center with my square. Now this one is above the uh, template guide, which is okay. I can easily line this one up to be precisely where the other one is by bringing my straight edge and then moving the guide over to match it. To determine how high up on the side rails my mortises will go, I'll use the thickness, half the, I want half the thickness of my seat plus half the distance of the cross brace for the center of the mortises. So, let's put those in. And that should put it there. Okay, so I've cut my rear brace, corner brace, and my front corner brace. And in order to determine where they are going to be positioned and where my mortises need to be cut, I'll do the front one first. Front one is the shorter one. That one goes quite easily. This is the way it's going to fit in. It's quite easy to see. Um, this is going to be as far out as I can possibly put my mortise. I do need it to be inside of these two lines. I'll line this up again. Okay, so that's my maximum. I want it inside of those lines. And I can also see where the tenons are going to end up from the outside. I can easily mark where those tenons are on the top of the chair and then I can transfer that. This is where they need to finish. In the back it's a little bit different. Um, the angle is bigger. I can't fit the piece in completely to the back because of the spindle that's in place to uh, see how it's going to go. So I just have to kind of eyeball it and angle it correctly. And that would be, this is the maximum for both. The main thing is I'm going to start it from the inside edge and go towards the outside of the chair in all cases because this part needs to be hidden by my block. I've laid out all of my sides for all my pieces of, of the uh, chair seats. The backs are still attached to the back part so that won't be a problem to, to make sure that I route on the correct side of things. And I'm going to go through each stack in order so that I don't have to worry about which side, how far up, how far in. I'll have all of that pre-marked. I have a pink mark on the inside on the tenon so that I'm not actually marking on my chair face um, or where I'm going to be having a surface that shows. That'll help me do things in an orderly fashion. 
I'm about to put in the mortises for my um, front pieces here. Each of those is two and three sixteenths of an inch from the edge. Rather than having to line up my center to the center of the pan around her every time, I've put a stop over here that I can just set each piece in. And the depth I want, bring it up, is three eighths of an inch. It's just a smidge more. Which is, these are seven eighths of an inch deep, so three eighths of an inch is a little less than half the depth. That should be just fine. So you can see my lines are drawn across here and here. My mortises are centered right between them, right where I want them. I can reproduce this on all the rest of the front pieces just by lining that up and uh, setting them in. So this is to do the other side. Again, I have two and five eighths inches. Block is set in place. I'll do the opposite end of my board. On the back legs, I've marked where the tenons have to come into, and I can just bring the guide up to the edge of that. I can see that I have it lined up now so that I'll be taking away what I need to take away in order to be able to slip those tenons into these mortises. I've got my stop set in place, and I'll do the same on the opposite end. wasn't so bad.